guys, so in today's video, I am sharing with you my favorite products. Um, I am in a different location because I don't really want to film right beside my baby girl's nursery because I like to be a little bit more vocal and I feel like I have to be more quiet when she's sleeping and the only time obviously that I can film, film these videos is when she's napping. So I thought I'd just move on into my bedroom. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. I do apologize for this situation. Um, it's very sunny on this side of the house and um, I can't really um, fix the light coming in. But anyways, I have been trying so many different makeup products and beauty products um, now that I have my freelance makeup artistry kit and I've gotten to use um, some of the makeup on different skin tones and as well as testing it out myself. Um, I do have a lot of amazing products that I'm really excited to share with you guys and it's been a long time since I have done a beauty product review video so let's jump in and I will show you guys all things beauty related that I have been obsessed with. So the first one that I'm super excited to share with you guys and if you follow my vlogs you will know that this is a staple in my beauty regimen regiment or regime um, because basically it is amazing and it is super dirt cheap and if you want those big beautiful long thick lashes you don't have to spend the money on um, eyelash serums you can just do this naturally it's so much healthier it's better for you you don't have to worry about if it's safer if you're pregnant or if it's safe if you're breastfeeding it's natural so it's fine and it works absolute wonders and it is literally a fraction of the cost of the really expensive um, eye serums. So before I show you what it is, um, I just want to show you my lashes. So those are my real lashes. I don't have any um, like eyelash extensions or anything on them. That's just kind of my own. And they were a lot smaller and not nearly as voluminous um, when I was pregnant with my daughter. T typically pregnancy can um, make your lashes not look so nice and can be they can just they can just not look very good so the product that I'm sharing with you is castor oil so this is the um, kind that I use it is nothing um, it's not gonna focus there we go it's nothing really special it's just castor oil I've been using this for a couple months and I've only used that much you literally just take it onto a q-tip or a cotton swab and dip it into the castor oil and run it along your lash line and I do this top and bottom and seriously you guys the before and after difference I really should have taken a before and after photo uh, because the difference is absolutely huge it has made such a difference and people in person have like always asked me now like do you have are you wearing eyelash extensions like are those your natural eyelashes and obviously they are my natural lashes it's just the castor oil works wonders so not only does it condition your lashes but it will help them grow you can also use this on your hair you can use it on your eyebrows it will make your eyebrows grow and thicken up and it's also great for your hair you can mix the castor oil with coconut oil put that in your hair for a hair mask and your hair will be long and luscious and beautiful and it's just amazing so definitely check out the castor oil so the next couple of products are from one brand that is true to my heart I love this brand so they have just done an amazing job um, really keeping up with the high-end brands but they are a fraction of the price the pigmentation is amazing and it's my favorite current favorite brand and that is ColourPop so ColourPop released a couple of palettes um, these are this is the I Think I Love You palette, which is my personal favorite. And it just has these beautiful metallic shades and you do get um, a matte shade there for a transition. So those are the colors, they are absolutely beautiful. They are super pigmented and I believe this palette is 20, I think it's $20 or $25. And then the next one is called uh, She. And obviously look how beautiful the packaging is this as well was about the 20 $25 mark and these are just the most beautiful 
romantic, more warm tone, like plummy colors. You've got a few mattes, and then you've got all these beautiful shimmers. Like I said, the pigmentation is amazing. They are magnetized, which I love. They're compact. They pack a lot of punch, you guys. I have Urban Decay. I have um, Ciate. I have Too Faced. I have Tarte. And I always gravitate to these, not only for clients, but also for my own personal use. I just feel like the pigmentation is amazing. They are a cruelty-free brand, so if that's something that is important to you, you'll definitely want to check out ColourPop. They have a, a lot, actually, of palettes um, that they released on their website. I've got two of them coming in the mail, so when they do arrive, I can share those with you guys. But they are amazing. They're super affordable. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to buy any more high-end makeup palettes because these are just amazing. They're so beautiful and just... I mean, they're just incredible. You guys definitely need to get your hands on these ColourPop palettes because they are bomb. Bomb diggity bomb. They're amazing. So the next product is also from ColourPop and this is a dupe for the Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow, dip brow powders, I think they're called, or dip brow gels or whatever they are. Um, so this is just the little ColourPop brow pod and this is just the brow color and mine's in the shade Blondie. I do have Honey Blonde on right now which I feel like is a little bit too dark for like my preference, um, but Blondie is just a beautiful, you can see there, it's just a gorgeous kind of taupey shade so it's perfect for blondes. It's absolutely amazing. You get so much product. I believe these are about $12, $15. I will leave all the prices um, and links to where you can purchase it down below because I don't have the prices offhand. But you get three grams, which is a ton, and a little goes a long way. It almost, it's kind of like a gel eyeliner consistency, but then when it dries, it goes to like a powder, and it stays all day long. It lasts all day. It not only fills in your brows, but it acts kind of like a gel, so it keeps your brow hairs down. It is amazing. I love it, and they have so many different colors, but if you're looking for that perfect taupey kind of blonde, definitely um, go for blondie if you want more of a honey. Uh, a darker blonde, this is Honey Blonde that I have on my brows now, but I freaking love this ColourPop. You have my heart, seriously. So this next product is a mascara, and this is a from a brand that I do have an eyeshadow palette from, but other than that, I haven't really tried any of their products. Um, but I got this in a, um, what do you call it, like a gift set um, for, um, for the company. And this is the Ciate, One, Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. Say that five times fast. So I just got the little sample of it. It just looks like that. And it's got, I love the wand on it. It actually reminds me of the um, Benefit Makes a Mascara that's very similar to this. Um, so because the wand is so big, it literally makes your lashes like like fan out and it gets right in there. I love the consistency of it. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. Again, I will put the prices and links to where you can get this down below, but I absolutely love this mascara. I definitely want to purchase the full size of this because it is freaking amazing and I love it. And like I said, it just gives me a beautiful, long, wispy, and thick lashes. So. Good job, Ciate, because this is amazing. So the next thing I want to talk about is makeup brushes. Now, I have tried high-end brands of makeup brushes and these more of two companies that are a lot more affordable. My husband um, got me Chanel brushes in the past and I've tried MAC brushes and I have to be 100% honest, you guys, these companies kick their ass like tenfold. These are so much better. So I have um, three specific brushes that I love from these companies, but all their brushes are amazing. And I do have them in my kit as well as what I use in my own personal my personal for personal use. So the first one is the Morphe G4 brush and it just looks like that. Morphe has amazing brushes. This is an angled brush. It is super super soft and dense and I like this for contouring. I just like to put it and it's the perfect shape for like the hollows of your um, cheeks to really contour. It's soft. I don't know, it smells really good, but that could just be my brush cleaner. <laughs> it's really soft, it's really high quality. I never ever get fallout with Morphe brushes and this is the perfect brush to contour with because of the shape. It's nice and dense and you're not gonna get that fallout. It beautifully blends, it's amazing and I love it. 
And the next two brushes that I use every single day that are my ride or die holy grail brushes are by Real Techniques. So I have this one that is the buffing brush and this came in a kit. I do use this for my foundation. It is super soft, again super dense, so it really helps you to work in your foundation or powder or whatever you want to use this for. I specifically use it for foundation. It does a beautiful job. It gives you an airbrushed finish and again I never lose hairs out of this. It is such good quality. I like the bright orange. It's just a very cool kind of sleek sophisticated look. Absolutely amazing. And the one that's paired with that, that also comes in the kit that I purchased for myself and for my kit, is this contour brush. Now, this bad boy is freaking amazing. I highly recommend getting a couple of these because I love to use them for concealer, so it's great for buffing and concealer down the center of the nose, the forehead, the chin, under the eyes. It's amazing. It's also fantastic for applying bronzer if you really want to get in the, um, the hollows of your cheeks and you just want a smaller brush to really get in there and get that dirty work done it's freaking amazing and you can also use it and it's also very good I have my other one that I use for highlighter um, just because it gives you that airbrushed look it's just amazing and it's like if you could buy one brush this is the one I would recommend it is awesome it is perfect again you never get fallout it's nice and soft it gives you the airbrush look and you can use it for so many different things I have so many of this brush for just different things I love it it's amazing and don't waste your money on like Chanel and Mac and the high-end brushes because this is all you need is the real techniques and Morphe they're amazing I just have a couple more things to share with you guys two are my current favorite holy grail foundations that I absolutely Absolutely love. One is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade 220. I have that on right now. Perfect, amazing. Um, it's for normal to oily skin. It keeps me um, relatively matte. Um, it lasts all day. It's perfect. It's a really good olive color, so you don't have any of that orangey undertone. It's amazing. And then the next one that I have been loving is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Now this is in the shade um, Golden Neutral. It does look a little bit dark when I first put it on, but once I blend it out with my concealer, it's amazing. I love it. They have a huge application applicator wand. It is high coverage, and this is also actually for, I think it's for dry or normal to combination skin. So if you do have very oily skin, I don't know if I would recommend it because it can give you a bit of shine. Um, but if you're now like me, I tend to have more dry to combination skin. It's perfect. It gives a beautiful, beautiful finish. A little goes a long way and it's amazing. And to go with that, my new favorite, Holy Grail concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. One of the reasons I love this bad boy is because you get literally so much product from it. I'm in the shade Fair Neutral because I like a really bright under eye and center of the face look. I love the applicator wand. It is full coverage. It kind of matches the Clinique one, which is funny. Um, I love the packaging of it. It lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It's just beautiful coverage and it's super brightening and super full coverage so I love this Tarte concealer and I have two more products last but not least I have been using the Clinique take the day off makeup remover I got this in a little sample it is a lot like the um, Garnier micellar water except this one is just better it does a better job of taking off my makeup um, I have waterproof mascara it takes it off no problem and it's just amazing and I love the packaging of it this is obviously a travel size because it was in a gift set but I love that and the next product is also Clinique and this is amazing you guys. So after having my beautiful now five month old baby girl, my skin went from super oily to dry. This winter I noticed I had a lot of dry patches kind of under my eyes, on my cheeks, my nose, my forehead. So this literally saved my life. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge. And this is a day or night cream. You get a lot of product. It was $65, I believe, where I bought it from. I think it was on the Clinique website. Um, but you get 2.5 ounces, and this lasts so long. Like you literally, I just dip my finger in it, put it on my face and my neck, and you're good to go. I haven't even made a dent in this, and I've been using it for a month. It is beautiful. 
It's amazing. It literally seeps into your skin super fast. So it's not like those moisturizers that sit on your skin and you just feel greasy. This will not do it. You can use this under your makeup because it soaks into the skin so quickly and it just leaves your skin buttery, baby, but soft. It's perfect and it's amazing. I know it's kind of expensive, but this will last a really long time. So I highly recommend this. Absolutely love it. So that is it for my current beauty favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you like the new location. I can work on the light system. I think I'm going to just configure something a little bit later because I love the backdrop of this much better than my other one. So, and I can talk a little louder because I'm across the hall from my daughter's nursery. So thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.